You know the ADUs are becoming increasingly popular in Los Angeles, but how much do they cost, how do you finance them, and how long do they take to build? All that and more coming up. Hello everyone, my name is Cameron Stevens, the entertainment industry's real estate agent and the owner of Stevens Real Estate, a real estate experience tailored to the creative client. Today I want to talk about ADUs, which stands for Accessory Dwelling Unit, and talk more about the financing side of things. Really quick, this is part two in a video series on ADUs, so if you want to know more about them, how you can build one, the latest laws surrounding them, and more, check out my other video in this series, linked below. Okay, ADUs, you're thinking you want one for yourself, a studio, or an office space, or a place for your band to practice, or an in-law suite. Maybe you want a standalone unit to be able to collect rental income. Fantastic, but how much do these ADUs cost? Well, as you can imagine, ADUs and garage conversions will vary greatly in cost based on the size and options you choose, but you can be certain that it's a decent expense. I mean, this is a major construction project. You're basically building a complete home, although smaller in size, and with the increase in lumber prices and supply chains being tight, they are more expensive now than they used to be a few years ago. Even so, converting a garage into an ADU is the most cost-effective option because the major components already exist, but you do need to add many interior components such as walls, a kitchen, a bathroom, flooring, windows and doors, plumbing, HVAC, insulation, and all utilities that aren't running there already, though you might have water and electric to your garage, which does make that convenient. Now, the biggest expense that most people aren't thinking of, though, is constructing a sewer line that will need to connect to the main city sewer line, and it usually does so by connecting to wherever the main house exits and connects to the city sewer. Your ADU will go ahead and connect to that. By the way, if you happen to like videos like these, hit subscribe, follow, whatever platform you happen to be on. That way you can stay up to date with all sorts of great information related to Los Angeles real estate, because that's what we do around here. Okay, let's put some numbers on the table here. The cost for a garage conversion to an ADU is gonna be somewhere between 75,000 to 125,000, depending on location and finishes. Now, the cost to construct a brand new standalone ADU, that can vary, again, based on size, location, and access to build, but it'll generally range from about 100,000 all the way up to the crazy big ones uh, with all the high-end finishes at around 400,000. But a good rule of thumb is to assume somewhere between 250 and $400 per square foot. And of course that range makes sense. You can build something with just the basics and the interior just being lower end finishes just to get the job done. Or you can build a two story ADU with multiple bedrooms and a rooftop deck. Now, what you build, it depends uh, on you and what you intend to use it for. But just remember if you are gonna build a two story ADU, the costs are gonna go up because there's gonna be additional structural support that's needed for that second story. These costs might seem high, but the return on investment can be staggering compared to traditional homes. For example, let's say you're trying to rent a single family home that cost you 800,000, a three bedroom, two bathroom home in a decent area of LA. So you're probably gonna be able to rent that for somewhere between 3,200 to 3,600, you know, depending on how updated the house is. But that ADU that cost you $100,000 to build, well, that studio is likely gonna be able to rent for about 1,200 to 1,500 in the same area, depending on finishes and square footage. So you're like, Cameron, that's not that impressive. That's less than a single family. In fact, it's in this scenario, about 40% less than a single family home. But think about it. It cost one eighth of the price to do it. Or another way to think about it is, Let's just take that monthly income of $3,500 as a ratio of the $800,000 purchase price. That's 0.43. But a monthly income of $1,500 as a ratio to $100,000 cost to build, 
That is a whopping 1.5, over three times higher. That's why, from a financial perspective, if you already own a home, instead of hunting for a whole additional property to purchase and then rent out, people are highly considering building ADUs on their property for rental income. But look, the cost to build these secondary units, they are still quite significant. And even if they are less than single family homes, most people are still gonna probably consider financing and loan options for the project. And there are a number of options worth considering based on your specific situation. And fortunately, more lenders are starting to offer ADU loan programs. So let's go ahead and explore the most common ADU financing options and a few less traditional ones as well. First, you've got Home Equity Line of Credit, also known as HELOC. You may have heard that term. Assuming that you have an existing mortgage on your home, but let's say you've also had it for a few years, you've built up some equity in your home and prices have probably gone up a little bit, if not a lot since you've bought, then a HELOC loan might be a good option for you. So here, the bank essentially gives you a second mortgage on your home in the form of a credit line. And that's likely to be about 80, maybe up to 90% of the appraised value of your home minus what you owe on your existing mortgage. The HELOC is a revolving credit line. It's kind of like a credit card that is, you know, backed by your house. You can withdraw as much or as little of the loan at any time, and you can pay it back at any time, and you only pay interest based on the amount that you've withdrawn. Now, usually a HELOC loan is relatively quick and cheap to accomplish with minimal closing costs, which makes it a great option. A home equity loan is a good ADU finance option as well. Uh, you can also use it for large scale renovation projects. In fact, the HELOC is good for those too. A lot of people use it for that as well. Um, and this is, this is actually sometimes referred to as a second mortgage. So whereas the other one was kind of like a second mortgage, mortgage, this one actually is. It's somewhat similar to the HELOC in that the homeowner is tapping into the equity of their home above and beyond what's owed on that first mortgage. But the difference with a home equity loan is that you receive the entire amount of the loan right away as a lump sum. Now, the downside to this is yeah, you gotta pay interest on the full amount of the loan, unlike the HELOC. The upside is that the interest rate can be fixed rather than variable like it often is with the HELOC. Ever heard of a cash out refinance? Uh, another term a lot of people have heard of, but they don't exactly know what it is, but I'll explain that and why it's actually a great ADU loan option. See, a cash out refinance replaces the first mortgage with a new mortgage, and then it extracts some of your equity in the home, as well as some extra cash that can be used to pay for construction. Now, this process is very similar to a traditional mortgage refinance. If, you, if interest rates had lowered and you just wanna do a, a refinance on your home, but instead of refinancing for the exact amount that you owe on your current mortgage, you would refinance for a higher amount. This will be used to both pay off your existing loan and then the amount above and beyond provides you the additional cash for your renovation, ADU, or garage conversion project. Now, just like some of the other ADU financing options I've talked about, the cash out refinance does require that you've built up some equity in the value of your home. So you can't just like buy a house and then immediately do one of these options because there just there won't be enough equity built up. Uh, so the maximum amount of the refinance is usually about 80% of the value of your home. But if you bought a couple of years ago and you're taking advantage of recent spikes in pricing, it could be one of those things that after a year or two, you have the option to go ahead and do this and build an ADU. A cash out refinance is one of the best options for ADU financing for several reasons. And in fact, it might actually be the best if you can pull it off. Because it's very similar to a traditional refinance, you're likely to get the best possible interest rate, which is very low these days. And if your current mortgage interest rate is higher than today's rates, then this loan is just an opportunity to go ahead and reduce your rate. Also, the refinance comes with a traditional loan term of 30 years. Uh, you know, there's 15 and 20 year options available, but most of them are 30 years. So it'll likely put the monthly payments on the loan 
within your current budget. Couple more options, you can finance an ADU with a renovation loan. These loans are actually personal loans and they are not secured by the property. So they're quicker, they're easier to get rather than traditional loans, uh, but they are based on your income qualifications and not your property value and the equity buildup. Traditionally, these loans have been limited to about $100,000, so if you wanted to do one of the big ones, you're probably gonna have to find uh, an additional source of cash as well, but because the loan is not secured by the property, it will come with a higher interest rate and it has a shorter payback period as well. But this form of ADU loan is good for people that are just looking for speed and simplicity. They just wanna get money out, maybe they'll supplement it with some cash that they already have. So, you know, not every lender offers this type of lending. So if you do wanna consider a, a, a loan like this, reach out. I'd be happy to connect you to a lender that can do one of these loans. Another option for ADU financing, uh, less used by homeowners, this is usually often used by investors, but uh, homeowners can definitely use this as well. Uh, it's called a construction loan. And this loan is a bit more complicated than traditional products that I talked about above, and there, it's gonna require some work on your part. So a lender will provide you with a construction loan in an amount that is a percentage of, somewhere 80, 90% of the completed value of your ADU. Your lender, whoever you choose, they'll have their own underwriter, they'll come and they'll determine the value of the completed project, and then they're gonna lend based on that. Now, this loan is usually a short-term loan, around one year, and it does tend to come with a somewhat higher interest rate than a conventional loan. In order to qualify for this type of ADU loan, you will need to provide the lender with items like your completed plans, a schedule, a budget created by a licensed and insured general contractor. Usually the lender will not fund the loan until you also have the building permits as well. Uh, but once the loan is approved and funded, then the lenders, basically they're gonna release payments in chunks as the project is being built. And these are called draws. And it's based on how quickly the building progress is happening. And it's also gonna be verified in person by an inspector that's working for the bank. The cool thing about this is that during the term of the loan, you're just gonna pay interest on the amount outstanding each month. And at the end of that, say one year construction loan period, this loan should automatically convert to a long-term permanent loan of 30 years, which is usually at a fixed interest rate. Okay, that's a lot of financing thrown your way at once, so if you need any of these points clarified, do not hesitate to reach out, and I'd be happy to chat through that. A lot of these are very personal to what your specific situation is. So let's end with how long these ADUs take to build. As you can imagine, timing is different for an ADU garage conversion versus a brand new standalone construction project. So for an ADU garage conversion, you can expect the entire process to take about three to six months, which includes actually the time to design the architectural plans, then wait for the city to conduct plan check, and then finally the construction process itself, which that takes about two to three months. So yeah, for a garage conversion, you might be able to knock the whole thing out in four, maybe five months if you're, if you're hustling along and it's not too complicated. But a new standalone unit, that's gonna take longer for the city plan check. And it's gonna obviously require a longer construction process. So that entire process is closer to six to nine months with the construction phase usually lasting about three to six months. The good news though, is that you don't have to be displaced during construction. I mean, sure there's gonna be noise and dust back there, but you still live in your home while the ADU is being constructed. Unlike if you were renovating your own home where most people choose to move out during a significant renovation. Okay, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something about ADU costs, how to finance ADUs, as well as the time it takes to construct one. In the next video of this series, we're gonna do a rapid fire Q&A to quickly answer a lot of the common ADU questions. At Stevens Real Estate, we specialize in working with creative professionals, entrepreneurs, and especially people within the entertainment industry because I spent seven years of my life working in animation and visual effects. That is why I designed Stevens Real Estate to be tailored to the creative client.
I also designed a few value adding programs for both buyers and sellers that no one else is offering. For buyers, we put together a full marketing plan that paints you as the right buyer for your dream home. We can also recommend local lenders that will fit your unique financing situation, even if you're freelance. And don't worry about the inspections, we've got you covered. They're free, all of them, no questions asked. And if you're looking to sell your home, we offer the ability to remodel now and pay when you sell, zero fees, no interest, no upfront costs. Plus we pay for all the aspects of digital marketing from photography, drone footage, videography, 3D walkthrough, virtual open houses, social media campaign, custom website, targeted emails, and more. So if you like my energy and personality and you think that my expertise and the programs I offer would be a benefit to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. And additionally, if you know someone that would benefit from connecting with me, I would absolutely love an introduction. Thanks again for watching and at the end of this video there will be a QR code that you can scan to be taken directly to my website or if you like there should be a link down there somewhere where you can click to learn more.